Why do you think they weren't able to create a strong villain? Because I feel like there's a lot of movies coming out of Hollywood that are, they don't have strong villains. So what is it that is... That, why you know, are they not yeah. making strong villains? Do you think it's a cultural thing? It could be. Like we've kind of lost the art of villainy. If that's a if that's a way to say that. <laughs> but like I think yeah, I think it could be that well, you see a lot of like um like overturning the villain um character. Especially like since um I feel like Maleficent. Like you have like anti heroes oh, as Oh yeah. So you're taking like taking a villain story and then trying to re explain it as they're not really a heroic a bad guy. story. Yeah, like they and, had trauma as a little kid and, and it's this like, is why sure, they act like this. Like you could make yeah, you could totally make that argument, but I don't feel like that fulfills the role of the villain. Mm. The villain is really supposed to just be a villain, like yeah. a really bad a really bad person and like just evil for evil's sake a lot of times. Or just uh, if it's like in the, in the case of like a, an environment, then it's like, well, it's just the environment. It's merciless. You know, it's like going to kill you unless you overcome. It doesn't care about your, you know, it doesn't care about you as the, as a hero or as a character. Yeah. And so I feel like the tornadoes were a little bit like that. There was just a lot of tornado action. And I guess it can get a little bit old because it's like, how are the tornadoes villains first off? Because they're not, they're mindless. So they're just kind of like wandering around destroying things. And it's like, well, you can just run away from the tornado. You don't have to face the tornado. So I feel like with um, Anthony's character, it would have been more interesting to see his villainy. Am I saying that right? I think so. It would have been more interesting to see him as a villain developed. And so like... I feel like he would have made a really good villain. Yeah, he would have been great. I don't know why they pulled that punch, but it would have been more interesting to see like instead of so in the movie and here's just a bunch of spoilers. So here you go. But in the movie, he he's working with a land developer who is coming in after the tornadoes, like they're using the technology to kind of predict where the tornadoes are going. And then they which I don't know why that really matters in the story, but then they're going in after and buying all of the land for super cheap. And so the land developer is obviously very evil. But the but Anthony's character, I feel like he's um, he was like a part of it because he was chasing the tornadoes and like following up. But he didn't really like commit to that role. So I feel like it would have been interesting to see more like. So in the beginning, um, Daisy, Daisy's character has a different boyfriend and it seemed like Anthony was kind of interested in her, but she already had a boyfriend and that boyfriend dies in a tornado. And so they, the two of them lose all of their friends to this one tornado. And so that's kind of like what sends them off in their all, all their different ways. So it would have been interesting to see Anthony's character if he had gone away and just like been sad about, you know, losing all his friends, you know, dealing with grief and like all of this. But then just to see like how that grows out in kind of a bent or like yeah. different direction where she, she uses it to like kind of hide away and like not pursue this passion of hers he like really digs into his villainy and like goes away and actually, you know, is dealing with his grief in kind of a, a terrible way by like, you know, being a part of this scheme to predict tornadoes and like try and like buy people's land like after. Profit off of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so when they're chasing, the reason they're chasing the very first storm is because she's trying to figure out a way to stop tornadoes. And so they're like putting this, chemical into the tornado to try and like absorb the moisture and make the tornado die out and so when they do the when they're chasing the first tornado they think it's going to be like an ef1 which is a really small tornado and it ends up being like an ef5 so it would have been interesting if maybe it goes from like one to five in like three seconds yeah but <laughs> which like maybe that's real it <laughs> happened after they released their chemicals so i was thinking it would have been interesting if they had released all of the chemicals and then they realized oh what we actually did was maybe she we didn't made the storm it. worse. He realizes it and he goes. Right. And and then he sells that idea right. and chemicals to the people who want to buy right. land so that this guy basically businessman yeah. buys up all of Oklahoma yeah. and she realizes what she made 
is causing and harming. So now she has to find an yeah. anti ingredient or yeah. you know, something so, to yeah, throughout the, bounce that off. Through the story, they figure out that what they did wrong was they needed like some other chemical. So they put put one the they put the first chemical in which makes the storm worse and then they put the second chemical in which makes the storm better and so it would have been interesting it didn't go this way but it would have been more interesting i feel like if they had if he yeah he was using it to make the storms worse so that way it destroyed more property than he could go buy it and she realizes that she killed all her friends essentially and feels really bad about that and so then in the end it would have been like her trying to use science to stop the tornadoes that he's making worse mm -hmm. to for selfish gain and then like there would have been like an actual conflict at the end instead of just like probably the only a way to resolve came that and it was like gonna destroy the town is like he dies yeah that's and that's like irony yeah like he makes us he makes a storm that's too big and it kills him yeah that would have been I feel like that would have been a well-rounded mm -hmm. <laughs> villain story. <laughs> yeah, instead and like, of all the good guys dying. Sure. And it would have been, yeah, I feel like that would have been very satisfying. Maybe they both die. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, she sacrifices herself and he. Yeah. Yeah.